As we all know, the Public Service Commission brings in new sets of questions every year to the candidates appearing for PSC exams. HRStride.com has taken a unique approach to prepare you for your venture. We believe that this approach will prepare you not only for the Kerala PSC nursing exam, but also beneficial in preparation for other exams in India like DHS exam, AIMS, Military Nursing Service exam, CMD National Health Mission exam. Moreover, this is a useful guide for those who are preparing for HAD, DHA, MOH, Prometric, NCLEX, CGFNS, NMCCBT UK, and RCSI Aptitude Test Ireland. In preparation for our nurses aiming to migrate to Western countries, we have our topics done in Western accent. This will give our users familiarity to Western accents indeed an advantage for all our nurses. Through this method we are aiming to strengthen your knowledge related to the given medical subjects in this session. So that you are prepared to attend any exams in the future. Besides, you are strengthening your theoretical knowledge, which indeed will support your career growth and clinical practice. Here is a sample question for your understanding. While assessing the laboratory reports of the patient with pancreatitis, the nurse should notice one of the most important early indicators of acute pancreatitis, which is prolonged and elevated levels of Option A, serum calcium Option B, serum lipase Option C, serum bilirubin Option D, serum amylase Now, pause the video for a moment and select the right answer. We want you to think about the rational behind your choice before you listen to the right answer. Start the video when you are ready and listen to the answer. Option B is the right answer. Serum lipase. You must have got it right or wrong. Now listen to the rational. Serum lipase is elevated within 24 hours of onset of the symptoms and remains elevated for a longer period than serum amylase. Serum calcium may be taken to assess for hypocalcemia. Serum bilirubin may also be taken to detect elevation in bilirubin level. Serum amylase is not as prolonged as lipase. Learning from answer references will further prepare you to answer an additional number of questions related to given medical subjects. You can take the online test from the first link in the description. To brush up your knowledge today, we are going to discuss pancreatitis, and its management. These precise theoretical narration is carefully added to give you an insight into pancreatitis and its management. We highly recommend you to take an online test after completing this session and check your score. Let's move on to the subject. Pancreatitis is the inflammation of the pancreas or inflammation of the organ lying behind the lower parts of the stomach, pancreas. Factors that increase the risk of pancreatitis include excessive alcohol consumption, cigarette smoking, obesity, and a family history of pancreatic disease. Conditions that can lead to pancreatitis include abdominal surgery, alcoholism, biliary tract disease, certain medication, cystic fibrosis, gallstones, hypercalcemia, hypertriglyceridemia, infection, injury to the abdomen, obesity, pancreatic cancer, unknown causes, and ERCP. Now let's discuss the pathophysiology of pancreatitis. Self-digestion of the pancreas caused by its own proteolytic enzymes, particularly trypsin, causes pancreatitis. Gallstones enter the common bile duct and lodge at the ampulla of fada. Then the gallstones obstruct the flow of pancreatic juice, or cause reflux of bile from the common bile duct into the pancreatic duct. The powerful enzymes within the pancreas are activated. Normally, these enzymes remain in an inactive form until the pancreatic secretions reach the lumen of the duodenum. Activation of enzymes leads to vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, necrosis, erosion, and hemorrhage. Finally, these enzymes enter the bile duct, where they are activated and together with bile, back up into the pancreatic duct, causing pancreatitis. The types of pancreatitis are acute and chronic. Acute pancreatitis generally develops suddenly, and it is usually a short-term, a few days to a week, illnesses that typically resolves with appropriate medical management. And chronic pancreatitis, which typically develops after multiple episodes of acute pancreatitis, is a long-term condition that can last for months or even several years. The symptoms may change in both types. 
In acute pancreatitis, symptoms involved, upper abdominal pain, abdominal pain that radiates to the back, abdominal pain that feels worse after eating, fever, rapid pulse, nausea, vomiting, and tenderness when touching the abdomen. In chronic pancreatitis, upper abdominal pain, losing weight, oily, smelly stools, steatorrhea, an upset stomach, and vomiting. Then the diagnostic measures for pancreatitis are serum amylase and lipase elevated, WBC count usually elevated, X-ray abdomen and chest, blood studies HB and hematocrit levels to assess for bleeding, CT, USG abdomen, ERCP, alkaline phosphatase elevated, serum albumin and protein decreased, serum calcium to assess hypocalcemia, urinalysis glucose, myoglobin, blood, and proteins, urine amylase increased dramatically, stool steatorrhea, MRI. When coming to the treatment, initial treatment in the hospital may include fasting, pain medication, and intravenous fluid and collaborative therapy like bed rest, pain medication for example, morphine, oxygen for hypoxia, fresh frozen plasma for coagulopathy, NPO with NG tube to suction to reduce vomiting and gastric distension and prevent gastric contents from entering the duodenum, insulin for hyperglycemia, albumin if the shock is present, IV calcium gluconate, 10%, if tetany is present, lactated ringers solution to correct fluid and electrolyte imbalances, ranitidine, and omeprazole, administer antibiotics. If necrotizing pancreatitis, TPN in severe cases, and ERCP. Additional treatment for chronic pancreatitis include pain management, it can be used in persistent abdominal pain. The doctor may recommend medications to control pain and may refer to a pain specialist. Enzymes to improve digestion, Pancreatic enzyme supplements can help the body break down and process the nutrients in the food we eat. Pancreatic enzymes are taken with each meal. Changes to the diet, the doctor may refer to a dietitian who helps to plan low-fat meals that are high in nutrients. Treatment for alcohol dependence, drinking several drinks a day over many years can cause pancreatitis. Continuing to drink may worsen pancreatitis and lead to serious complications. The surgical management includes gallbladder surgery. If gallstones cause pancreatitis, the doctor may recommend surgery to remove the gallbladder, cholecystectomy, or pancreas surgery that is necessary to drain fluid from the pancreas to remove diseased tissue. Then side-to-side -side pancreaticogenostomy, or caudal pancreaticogenostomy, and pancreaticoduodenal resection with preservation of pylorus, Whipple's procedure. Home remedies to reduce pancreatitis are stop drinking alcohol, stop smoking, choose a low-fat diet, and drink more fluids. The major complications of pancreatitis are Pseudocyst, acute pancreatitis causes fluid and debris to collect in pseudocyst that ruptures can cause complications such as internal bleeding and infection. Kidney failure, breathing problems, malnutrition, diabetes, infection, pancreatic cancer, septic shock if you find this section educative and useful please like it and share with your friends more medical subjects will be uploaded in the coming days to get the notification consider subscribing our channel visit our youtube channel for more clear-cut medical subjects thanks for watching